Introducing the Microsoft Access Security Seminar brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. This seminar isn't only about Microsoft Access database security, although we will cover it in detail. The main focus of the seminar is to teach you how to build a secure database from the ground up, including all the steps necessary to control every action your users can take inside the database itself and to monitor those actions. This seminar will cover user security inside your database, controlling who can log on, managing database workflow, the step-by-step -step procedures in your database, controlling access to database objects, which users can see which forms and fields, sending email notices from your database, creating a detailed system log to see what users are doing, and finally encrypting and securing your database. Microsoft removed user level security from Access 2007, mostly because it wasn't that secure to begin with. So the first thing we're going to do is create our own user table and make our own logon form. This way we can set up usernames and passwords for our users and control who can log on to the database. Then we'll create a form where we can add users into different groups, such as manager, sales rep, admin, service tech, and so on. This will control what types of access rights they have in the database. And of course, you can make whatever user groups you want. Next, we'll come up with a workflow for our database. How do we want this database to function when the users are actually inputting data. Our example for this class will be a basic work order for service techs. It'll start off where a sales rep will enter a request for service. Then the service technician performs the service and enters the information into the database. Then a manager gets to review the details to make sure everything's OK. The manager then assigns this for a follow up and the sales rep calls the customer to make sure everything's good. The manager then gives it one final review and closes the work order. You'll learn how to control what users can enter data into which fields. For example here, you can see a service tech can only enter data into the service performed field and not the service requested field. That's the job of the sales rep. You'll be able to manage each step of the process. For example, when the service tech is done entering his information, he clicks on the service call completed button, which moves it along to the next step. You'll learn how to lock and unlock forms and fields to control who can enter data where. You'll learn how to send email notices at each step in the process to notify, for example, the sales rep that he has a follow-up to make. That's handy, especially if you don't have employees who use the database every day. You'll learn how to log everything. In addition to logging each step of the process, when a work order was opened, serviced, reviewed, and so on, and by which user, we'll also create a secret system log where you can track everything a user does, what time they logged in, what fields they changed, what records they edited, this is great for tracking workers and making sure they're doing their jobs and also keeping track of who changed what data in the database. We'll focus on internal database security, things that happen inside the database while your users are working in it. For example, who can edit customers? Do you want sales reps to be able to change each other's customers? Who can see customer data? Do you want your service techs looking at all of your customer records? Who can edit, add, and delete data? Who has permission to delete customer records, for example? What information is required? Should you force your users to have to enter certain information? Who can see which buttons and forms? What the manager might see on the main menu might be completely different from what one of the service techs sees. This, of course, is based on their permissions. Next, we'll take a look at some of Access's built-in security measures. We'll split the database into a front-end and back-end solution. Then we'll encrypt the back-end database so it requires a password 
to see any of your table data. We'll turn off the navigation pane and specify our own login form. And we'll learn how to disable the bypass key using some VBA code. For an extra security measure, next we'll learn how to dynamically link to our tables in our backend database and destroy those links when we're done. We'll also learn how to make an encrypted version of your front end database that hides all of the report, form, and module design. It's called an ACCDE file in Access 2007 or an MDE file in older versions. And for our Access 2003 users, we will run through the user level security wizard to secure a database. We'll talk about users and passwords, groups and permissions, and how to manage all of the above. You can find out more about the Access Security Seminar at my website, accesslearningzone.com. YouTube viewers, visit this special website, accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube, and get a huge discount when purchasing this full seminar. Again, that's accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more free videos and updates on new releases.